Today we are hearing from Nathan Fletcher's accuser in her own words. It's our top story on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. Gracia Figueroa filed a lawsuit in late March accusing Fletcher of sexual assault. Now she's posted a blog about harassment in the workplace involving people in power. CBS 8's Abby Black is live at the county administration building with what Figueroa is saying about speaking up. Abby. Heather and Jesse, in the past we've heard from Garcia in a statement through her attorney, but now we get to hear from her own words in a blog post that she's uh, posted in the list past weekend. Now we do want to make you aware that in most cases involving alleged sexual assault victims, we do not identify them. But in this case, Garcia has given us permission to use her blog and also her audio and has given us a picture that we can use. She has also declined our request for an interview. frustrating. In her two minute blog post titled A Crumbling Facade, Garcia Figueroa doesn't call out Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, the affair or sexual misconduct allegations against him. Rather, she talks about the backlash women face when they stand up against people of power and accuse them of sexual harassment. It's no wonder people feel they'll be judged when speaking up about sexual harassment is seeking vindication of one's own rights leads them to be called a liar, a mistress, a gold digger, in far worse names. Figueroa continues to talk about women feeling threatened to come forward. The former MTS spokesperson is suing Fletcher. She accuses the married man of sexual assault and sexual harassment while he was the MTS and county board chairman. He denies the allegations and says the relationship was consensual. After the accusations surfaced, Fletcher announced that he would resign from the board on May 15th and is now seeking treatment for alcohol abuse and PTSD. Choosing to come forward is not an easy feat and it should be respected. Choosing to do what is morally right at the cost of your own future and livelihood should at least be protected. Figueroa created the blog called This Is My Take in 2019, writing about personal experiences. On February 21st, shortly after she was fired from MTS from what they call performance issues, she posted a blog titled Trials and Tribulations and talked about overcoming challenges. There are times in my life that gave me no choice but to be strong to move mountains with an unshakable force of will and determination and accomplish the absolute impossible. That is the strength that I'm bringing with me today. And if you're going through something hard, I want you to channel that too. This was the first time Figueroa had posted on her blog since she filed the lawsuit against Fletcher. So, where do you stand? Because if you stand for nothing, what will you fall for? We reached out to Supervisor Nathan Fletcher's office for a comment about this blog, but they tell us that since he is in treatment, he is unable to respond. There is another accuser. It was Nathan Fletcher's intern in 2015. She accused him, accuses him of sexual misconduct. He denies those allegations. Abby, what is the next step at this point for County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher? Well, while I was um, reaching out to his office, I wanted to know when he will be discharged from treatment, but they say that they cannot give us those details. But actually tomorrow, the Board of Supervisors will meet on its options to discuss what they will do next to represent, to fill that position so they have representation in District 4. Supervisor Jim Desmond tells us that there's three options that they can decide on tomorrow, and that will be either to decide if they will have a special election or if they will appoint someone or they can actually appoint uh, an interim supervisor until they figure out what they want to do. All right, Abby Black reporting live for us on our top story today. Abby, thank you.